during the colonial days, like 300 years ago. This is uh, Maureen. Make sure to check her on her YouTube channel. What have you learned about your Kenyan history? I've yeah. learned that this was like a hideout yeah. for the Omans and the British. Well, uh, actually, uh, I was able to learn that um, this tower is over 400 years old. Yes. And that uh, they have lots of um, uh, cannons. We have the one that has up to like 400 meter range and the one that has also has a very short range, like mm -hmm. up to 100 meters. And actually this fort was actually built around the Indian Ocean. Gracie here. And we are the Agari family. family. And it's a big morning here. Yeah. So on today's episode, guys, we've come to Mombasa Old Town and uh, we're going to visit the first Jesus here in Mombasa and learn the history of, you know, how our history was back in the days. That is 400 years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. So come with us and enjoy. Let's tell the four uh, Jesus together. It will be their first time learning the Kenyan history yeah. because they're from Nigeria. For Mori, we are both Kenyans and yeah. she's from uh, Mombasa. 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 So if you're watching from the Agaris family, please check me out on my YouTube channel, Gracie D. And, and the Agari family. Yeah. And don't forget to check out Okay, yeah. yeah, so let's learn the history of Kenya. Okay, let's go, guys. So when you get in, you have to have your national ID or your passport, or if you're a resident in Kenya, you have to have your uh, residency permit for you to get the prices that you gonna pay. For Kenyans, it's two hundred Kenyan shillings. For residents, it's 400 Kenyan shillings and for foreigners, it's 1,200 Kenyan shillings and you have to have the money in M-Pesa because that is the only uh, method of payment that they're using there. I'm not sure if they have bank payments, but we used M-Pesa. After that, you can also get a tour guide if you want, but if you just want to go around by yourself, then well and good, but with the tour guide, you get our information about this place. So welcome. Huh? Yeah, thank, thank you. you. I brought you here so that you see the plan of the fort. Huh? This fort, it was a coral rock, huh? and then it was just come there. Huh? Coral rock. It was coral rock. Huh? Okay. Then it was just come there. Huh? Portuguese, 1593. Huh? So, you know, these people, the, the Portuguese, they were Roman Catholic. Huh? So they carried as a, a board of Jesus lying on the cross. Mm. So, as you can see, we have part of the head. This is the right arm where you enter there. Okay, left arm, this is the body. Right leg, left leg. Are we together? Yes. So it looks mm. like a, a cross. A cross. Yes. Okay. okay. So that's why it's called for Jesus. Jesus Someone okay. can ask you why was it called for Jesus? If you tell him or her, this rock it was just cut as a human body. Or like a Jesus lying on the cross. So Lastly, we are going to finish the washroom. Those are the washrooms. Yeah? If okay. you want to go for a short trip, you can go there. So we are going to cover this part of the heart and hands, which is part of the head. Sour. Okay. Mm -hmm. So guys, we're going to start with the captain house and our tour guide of the day. What's your name again? <laughs> Zuma. 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 I'll put his number on the screen. So if you need a tour guide when you visit this place, uh, he will take you around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you see this small one? Right? I used to put them for the And the light of the one it goes the bullet, eh? Okay. Uh, these ones are not in a position, no? Those ones are facing to the ocean, no? You see? Mm. The ones in a position, okay? okay. Because this one to include the captain house. This is the captain house, but it was demolished by the Oman Arabs mm. when they captured the fort, eh? mm. You know, this fort started with the Portuguese, 
Oman Arabs, plus the British, yeah? So during British time, huh, people used to be jailed here. Oh. In prison, uh, during British time. Okay. Then uh, after here, they went to Monasewa prison. This became National Museum of Okay? Mm. So we are going to see the passage which they used to bring in weapons from the ship to the ammunition store where they used to store the weapons. Yeah. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, hello. Now you can see how it was just that, yes, Mama? Yes. And this is the original uh, road. This yeah? is the this original is road. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yo, you can go inside there yourself. Right? Well, let's work. Uh, so it's called passage of the arches, yeah? Passage of the arches. Yes. It's because of the design, yeah? Huh? Okay. Okay. Let's see, be careful. <laughs> Ammunition store. Uh, they, the Portuguese soldiers used to store their weapons here. Ah, yeah. But right now, there's nothing. <laughs> so this is where the Portuguese soldiers used to store their guns and their weapons. There's nothing here at the moment because that was long time ago. Is a wicked. Man, this is wicked. Mm -hmm. But he's to steal okay. their weapons. And guys, we are still with the Gary family and they are enjoying here in Mombasa for Jesus. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Zina is already tired. Zina, you're tired already. Why are you sitting down? Huh? <laughs> Mazrui Hall. Where the Arabs used to have meetings. This is where the Arabs used to have meetings. There's so much on the wall. It's in Arabic. Ah, uh, yeah, so there's no way I can read that. Yeah, these are the swords and these are the shields, yeah? Oh. To protect them from the So fire. these ones were used in those years. They are that old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, these are, amazing. These are the knife, huh? they are called daggers, yeah? The Roman Arabs used to. These are the shield? Uh, shield. And these, these are the shield, yeah? These are the swords. And yeah. Us. Yeah. You see the British and the Arabs. And the Arabs. Yeah, because they are sitting as they used to sit when they were having their meetings. Wow. Yeah. 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 Those are the guns. Go another step. So these are the paintings, huh? Okay. As I was talking, these people, the one I'm sorry, you can see a church and the cross. The bridge is a cross. Transport they use their towers. You see, for using moons and wheels. The way they see the talking soldiers fighting. So this kind of thing to keep the history. And here you can see that design, eh? Mm -hmm. That we call it, you know, I'm a Muslim, eh? Yes. We call it a Kibla. So uh, we are being told that the Oman Arabs used to, to play here. Yeah, so it would be like Echo. Yeah. Whoa. We are together. Now we are going to see the secret passage where the Portuguese soldiers used to escape, eh? Oh. Uh, so it's yeah. because only the, 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 the Portuguese soldiers knew where it is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
from the sea that, that ship, that time, huh? Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's why they are saying it was a secret. Secret passage. It's written there. Secret yes. Passage, yeah. Just go there, it's safe, huh? Mm -hmm. uh. Okay, they close it. The British. Yeah. The British closed it so that the prisoners can run away. Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We are together. Yes. It's a gift shop, huh? It's a gift shop, but it used to be a kitchen. Let's go there and see the kitchen. Okay. If you want to buy something as a gift, you are allowed. So now it's like a gift shop. Yeah, that's why it's called it gift shop, huh? Sorry. 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 But uh, have a look first. It's okay. Buy. <laughs> no, no, no. Why are you are in a hurry? Give your time. Give your time. My time. So this is the still part of the kitchen area. Yeah, that's oh. the kitchen is here. Okay. Take a look at Wow. Don't touch anything, huh? Unless you want to buy it. Yeah? Yeah. These are the chimneys, yeah? Wow. Oh, yes. This uh, used to be the chimney. Now, uh, the kitchen area is now turned to a gift shop. They all look so sick. Sit down. Sit down. Hi. 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 Wow, you see these bitangas? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to see the left arm. Oh, this is the left arm. At the corner, we have a way to That's eight or ten. Okay. Mm. Well, the photo you saw just used to stay there. Wow. Mm. Mm. Uh, no, don't be scared. That's not one. And this one is for long range, yeah? Not this one for long range, yeah? No, 400 meters. Wow. This one for two things, yeah? You see? The same one. And also, so that's used to uh, shoot with the shotgun, huh? Wow. You can see the cannon is there. And you cannot see. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Hello. We are going to see the Portuguese chapel, eh? where the Portuguese used to pray. It was a church, eh? okay. but it was demolished by the Oman Arabs. Why did they demolish it? They didn't want the 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 the, the, the Portuguese because uh, the Portuguese they are uh, Christians. They are, they are Christians and yes. the Oman Arabs are, are Muslims. Muslim. Uh, yeah. oh. mm. Take care, huh? Okay. It's not made, does it? <laughs> it was a big well there so that they get they can get, get water. water. Is but it water fresh water? Was, uh, I'm coming that. Okay. But the water was salt, yeah? So they oh. used to, to to wash their board and their clothes, drinking the preserved drain water. Oh. Uh, and when the Oman Arabs captured the fort, eh, they dug their own well, eh? 
it's almost 23 meters. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we have water there also. But the water is salt, yeah? Mm, Are we together? Yeah. yeah. And Okay. But it's also got demolished. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello. <laughs> this one AC you touching a toilet AC and until 19 they discovered a dead body but it's not a real one eh? the original one in town in was the original one buried down there the one you can see just a little oh Okay. Are you together? Yeah. That one is a really skeleton of a mammal. I want you, oh. friend of mine, to tell me which mammal is that. Let's go there. Ooh. That one is a real skeleton. Yeah. Yeah. This is a real skeleton of a mammal, guys. But I don't know which one is this. Which mammal is this? Mammal. Mammal, mammal. It's a mammal. Tell me which goat. Yeah. It's a small goat. It's a small goat. It's a small goat. So this is part of the head. That one is... Yeah! That one is a spinal cord. It's a whale. It's a whale. A lifespan of a whale, it can go even 100 years, like 60 years, 80 years, 90 years. Yeah. But this one... 28 years. 28. This, that is a, uh, this one is just a whale. Yeah, it's a skeleton of a whale. This is real skeleton. Real skeleton, guys. <laughs> can, can I touch? Oh. It's very hard. It's like, ew. It's like rock. <laughs> so we are going to see the Oman house. The Portuguese Arabs used to stay here. This is an example of Oman Tower. Yeah. So it's the Oman Arabs that used to stay here. Yeah, that's why it's called the Oman house. So this house is over 300 years. Exactly. Wow. Mm. Oh, we are coming in. These people, they were businessmen. Eh? Yeah. They were selling spices. Eh? These are okay. the spices. Yeah. They were selling ivory. Mm. This is a real ivory. Eh? Wow. But it's illegal to sell this in Kenya, right? Yeah, yeah. But oh. now you'll be judged. Oh. Uh, Okay. They don't allow you to sell ivory. Yeah. But at that time they were selling the Oman Arabs. Wow. And here we have a picture of Sultan Abu. Is that? He was there. The late Sultan. One of his. There, Oman. Oh. Yeah, but Oman, not Kenya. Kenya, here. Wow. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, these are bullets, ah, yeah, but they are used. They are used, or they can be used. Oh, wow! Take them out. Okay, come here. We see the real okay. bullets, man. Yeah. How they used to wear the ladies, even today, yeah. And they're men. Wow, this is how Oman ladies used to dress uh, until today. It's the same way they are dressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the knife I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Called uh, Dada. Uh, kancha. Or Kancha. Uh, or Kancha. Kancha. Or Kancha. Dada or Kancha. Or kancha. Uh, and this is how the team is dressed. Yes. Mm. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
So this was the bedroom. No, no, no. No, it was just part. Oh. house, where they used to stay. Okay. Now you can see. So for this, it's a big hole. Now you can see. It was surrounded. Yeah, by corn and rock over there. Yeah. This is how the Oman women used to dress, and these are the jewelries they used to wear. And also, this is how the men used to dress uh, in that days. That is a dagger. Uh, these are some of the utensils and also some of the things that were used in the house in those days. Uh, so many things guys here are written in Arabic so I don't even understand. But yeah, if you visit in Kenya, make sure to visit for Jesus in Mombasa. If you have a chance to come to Mombasa and have this tour and learn a bit of our history and, you know, the history between the Portuguese and the British colonizers. Have you guys enjoyed our Kenyan history? Yeah. yeah. Ejiro, what have you learned? I learned, okay, from this place, Yeah. honestly, I... It's, I just mind that this is the place where the Oman. Yeah. Yeah, they stayed here. Yeah. And this is the house they used to stay. The Portuguese here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, during the colonial days, yeah, like three hundred years ago, yeah. this is uh, Maureen. Yes. Make sure to check her on her YouTube channel. What have you learned about your Kenyan history? I yeah. learned that this was like a hideout. Yeah. For the Omans and the British. Okay. And so we've seen those places where they used to check. Yeah. Uh, watching tower. Yes. To check whether it's safe or not. Yeah. And we've seen their guns. We've seen how they used to dress. And that's nice. It's, uh, actually, their outfit is beautiful. For the yeah, very beautiful. Yeah. And of course, the jewels. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you learned anything today? Oh, uh, you're just sitting there. <laughs> what have you learned? Okay, guys, don't the mind toilet. him. Okay. You've seen the toilet. <laughs> That's okay. all that you've seen. That's the only thing you learned. <laughs> huh? Okay. What have you learned today? Hide out and your dress. And their dress. You love the dress. You love the ladies' dresses or the men. Both. Both of them. And their weapons. Yeah. Okay. That's nice. Then, uh, what have you learned today, Mama? Yes, I've seen how the Portuguese used to uh, bring in slaves, yeah. where they hide, the way they attack their enemies, from at least the I, I doubt yeah. where they put their weapons, weapons, where they keep the prisoners. So these are lovely memories that we all need to know. Yeah. Because I'm I'm hearing of this for the first time. Yeah. So. Is a great memory that we all need to know about our past, our forefathers, how they were being, how they do trade them from one place to, from Oma, down here, from here to Portuguese, uh, Portuguese yeah. or the, and to the Arab. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Sir, so, what have you learned today? Yeah, so uh, actually uh, I was able to learn that um, this tower is over 400 years old. Yes. And that uh, they have a lot of um, uh, cannons. We have the one that has up to like 400 meter range and the one that has also has a very short range, like up to 100 meters. And actually this fort was actually built around the Indian Ocean to kind of, you know, to uh, guard the place because ships used to pass here. So yeah. it's a way of them uh, protecting this area. Another thing I also learned is that um, the Portuguese, the Omani people, were kind of very business conscious. The Arabs, yeah. So they and 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 what I also observed was that even in their meeting places where they were having meetings with the locals, yeah, there were guns inside. So to me, I think, <clears throat> excuse me. So to me, I think if anything bad should happen inside there, 
they are ready for the attack or for the fight exactly so that means they're conscious um they are war conscious yeah. you know in case anything wants to happen they are, they are ready at alert at yeah. any time just like boy scout when i was a boy scout the boy scout motto says uh be prepared <laughs> so i think they're always prepared for anything wow yeah that's nice yeah so guys we've just finished our tour and yeah so make sure to visit for jesus and enjoy anytime you visit uh, mombasa it's just in old town and you're going to have an amazing time <laughs> so so i'm gonna ask her yes. grace what did you learn today <laughs> So guys, today as you can see, we are in Mombasa as I've told you already on the intro. Mm -hmm. So we visited for Jesus with the Agari family and the kids. Uh, they are from Nigeria. They know yeah. a bit of our Kenyan history. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy that they really enjoyed the tour. And you know them, they are still uh, enjoying Mombasa town. Mm -hmm. So I've learned of our history today and how, you know, colonial used to be. Uh, I've seen the weapons that they used to use during mm -hmm. those times. I've seen their hideouts and, you know, just thinking of it, because uh, as you can see, most of the hideouts, uh, as you've seen uh, in the video, mm -hmm. they don't have roofing. So I'm just thinking to myself what they used to do during those days that it used to rain and they have uh, to fight or protect themselves. I've also, I've also seen the dresses they used to wear and a lot more the workroom they used to use mm -hmm. and i've also learned that the portuguese um uh the christians and the arabs were never like in good terms that's why they destroyed the church the, the church the mm. yeah, yeah so there's much for you to learn here so if you want to learn this and uh, enjoy this place make sure to visit our Fort jesus when you visit uh mombasa and this, and this Kenya. Jesus is about 1.5 to 2 acres no, it's, of it's land. It's 2.5 acres, acres of land. Yeah, okay. so you have like a long tour. You can get a tour guide from outside. You can get others up from, you know, when you come in. in. Mm -hmm. Like for us, it was just, uh, you know, we had the whole tour of the place and we paid 500 Kenyan shillings for the tour. And later, after you're done with the tour, you also have time to take pictures as much as you want. Yeah. As long as you've paid your ticket, you can be in here for the whole day. It just depends with your time and what you are doing around here. So, yeah. And you can also get to have uh, souvenirs for people. Yeah, there's also yeah. a gift shop, which was previously the, the, the kitchen. kitchen. So, yeah. so so the kitchen now, instead of food, yeah. get souvenirs. Yeah, they <laughs> it to a gift shop. So if you want to buy things that are locally made from Kenya and take back to your country, uh, these are pla the best place for you to buy. They have crafts, they have paintings, there's so much for you to buy from here. I was wondering who is there. I thought a man came to get me. <laughs> Thank you. 
I have a car bag, and the blue phone is in that bag. I'm not. I think I do not enter.